Hey guys, it's Honey Bear, and today I'm just going to be showing you how to make thumbnails for your YouTube videos if you do not know how to. Um, I make thumbnails, I just don't actually put them on because, um, yeah, don't even ask me why. Um, but these are the things that you're going to need. It's actually really simple and it may take a long time, but once you get the hang of it, it's like takes five minutes to make an amazing thumbnail. Um, so this is what you need. You're going to need your movie stop on it. So I'm on that now. You're going to need Zap Editor. And the link in the description for movie stop on it and Zap Editor and then these two will be in the description just so you know. And then you're going to need Zap Editor which looks like this when you click on it. So yeah, this is what it should come up with. Well, that was so cute. Okay, and then you're also going to need Google Images, which is just yes, Google Images. And then you're going to need your YouTube channel. So I'm on the Pixel Girl, clearly. You're going to also need snipping tools. So that is this. And you're going to need your folder file thing. I don't even know what to call it. But yeah, this, this is basically it. Yeah. Um. So I just have a folder of emojis and then I have my thumbnails. This is the thumbnail I just made before, before one of the videos. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to be self uploading it right now. Um, I don't know what that's about, honestly. Okay, so that's all you're going to need for this easy process. Okay, first thing you should do is probably choose a video from your um, channel, um, um, like which one you want to make a thumbnail for. So it's pretty simple looking for that. I'm just going to make another one for this um, this rare one because the other one I didn't, not was not too happy with. So if I want to make a thumbnail for this video, I'm going to think about the highlight things like I did the rare that because it's named rare and because I got one of the black like bow rays and some other ones, but I couldn't, couldn't be stuff finding them. So what you're going to do is go into MSP and you're going to, when it starts to load, you're basically going to take snippets, you're just going to find things that you want to add into your, um, what's it called, thumbnail. <laughs> okay, so I found it here, and you're just going to click on it, and you can take here, whatever. You can also do this in Artbook, just so you know. And you're just going to take a new snipping snippet of the bow from a very beautiful bow head. And then you're just going to save it. I already have saved it in here. Um, so yeah, that's the first step. And you can do as many snippets as you want. Another thing I like to do is get emojis. So I can just do like the wink. Um, emoji, um, link. Okay, so you just find the emoji that you want, take a sitting snippet of it, like that, and, yeah, um, I'm going to just say this, link, creative, I know. Okay, so then you've got that. You've got, you can do as many as you want. I said as before, you can, yeah, I don't know. You just do literally any, any image, like it can be a balloon or whatever. I don't know why I said balloon. And then you're also going to need a background. Now you can just do like a simple color, like a green, simple green background. Or you can do something like, hmm, like a underwater. I'm going to use. Um, might as well underwater. Underwater tumbler. Wait. Yeah, and then you just find one that you like. So I like this one. It looks nice. You're going to save it. Or you can take a snip tool, snippet of it. It's up to you. Emojis. Thumbnails. Underwater. That was not how you spell underwater. Ah! 
Naughty, naughty. Go ahead, Joy, stop it. Oh. Sorry about that. My computer's being naughty. <laughs> um, okay, so then you basically got all of the images that you want to include in your thumbnail and the background. So then you're going to want to Zap Editor or P Zap. Um, you're going to click on Start right here. Then you can do all of this stuff. But you click on Edit. Now, what you're going to do, remember the link in the description will be for this website. Now it says find a photo to edit. Now you're going to find the background that you chose, so that's under Warty. That's again not how you spell it. <laughs> and now you're going to click on cut out piece. At the top there is basic edits. Filters, stickers, text, cutout tool, borders, memes, blah blah blah. And then you click on the person with a scissor going through their head. Then you are going to click on computer. And this is where you choose the images that you've chosen. So you pop in the wink. Alright, so the wink, the image, the emoji, the balloon, you on everything, whatever you want, she'll come up here. And it can even be photos of you, like it can seriously be anything. And then now you see all of these green booger dots. Yes, I could just say booger dots. Um, and this is probably the most time consuming one, but if you've got a circle, it won't be too hard. But if you've got you, it may take a little longer and a little bit more of the concentration. So you've got paint and erase. Erase will come in red, paint will come in green. This is the size of like the tool that you're gonna use. So you can use the biggest one or the smallest one to really get in the, like the little crevices. But this basically you're gonna draw over what you want to be in the edit. So you know you're gonna colour in all of the emoji and not the outline. If you accidentally go over or something and you're not happy with it, then you can just go and erase and erase out whatever you did wrong and then click on paint and then go back to painting so this is a little bit of a time consuming one i'm not really going to try too hard to get the edges correct but let me just just give me a second okay yes so once you've got all of the emoji or whatever you want in it um colored in green oh, you're going to click on finish and then it will pop into your screen and then you're just going to make it smaller and you can turn it around and you can actually like like do that and then yeah it, it's just really fun i love this website a lot a lot and if you don't like the way the shape it is you can make it look in the other side but just flipping it over but yeah i'm not going to give you the full tutorial that could be another video but now um I'm not a pro, so I don't have that, just if you're wondering. And now you can just continue adding in whatever you want. There can be as many selfies or whatever. We're going to add in a red bow that we got. We're going to colour it in. Alright, that literally took me like three seconds. That's in. Well, bam. And you can literally just continue to add things in. You can add your um, movie star planet character. Last time I did that, it took me like 20 minutes to just like colour it in correctly so I'm not going to do that you can add text so you can just write whatever you want okay you can choose the font and there are so many fonts to choose out of um like literally and you can move it around um you can change the size so if you want it to be massive if you want it to be puny um you can do that all simply and then the color here you can choose what color you want it so if i wanted to make it yellow click on yellow it's like the msp like colors as well and this is the glow around it um if i make it white you see and it's seriously so simple you can make it middle side other side or middle and then you just click OK and you can add more than one. You can add speech bubbles. You can literally do everything on this. You can even make memes. Like, come on. Um, basic edits. 
some saving on the job. So many things that you can do. All right, you can also crop the image by that and you can right check the image and zoom. Um, I just change the brightness and contrast and saturation. Then you can add filters, you can do classic, vintage, you know, or you can just click on remove to get it off of you. You can, I don't normally do these, but you know, you can add a heart and whatnot. Get, 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 get out. You can add borders and yes, you can just do whatever you want to make it look amazing. Then you're going to click on save once you're happy with your edit or your thumbnail, whatever you want to call it. My cat is annoying me right now. Get away. And then it will go, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to turn a face and I'm going to turn off the up. I'm just going to have it on my computer. You can write whatever you want in the thing, no one's going to see it if you turn off everything but computer. Um, and then you're just going to choose it. So, thumb, bum, thumb, bum. Exactly. Now you've got that saved, you don't need Piz up, you don't need movie stuff on it. Yeah, you are not going to need Google Images, you're just going to need your channel. And now you're going to upload. Um, you're going to upload a video, no wait, that's incorrect, don't do that, wait, okay, sorry, you're going to click on the video you want it to be, let me pause, um, and if you've already uploaded it, then you're going to click on the info and settings button, right there, and it should take you to this, don't mind that, um, then you're going to, there should be another one here that says, upload image or something click on that choose your thumb bum <laughs> and it should come up as one of your options to the thumbnail and you can change it if you don't like it and then you're just going to click on save changes which i'm not going to do because then you know it's not going right but you click on save changes and then wabam you've got it and it is beautiful and it is so simple really really simple like you don't even know how simple it's extremely simple your mum's simple it's simple it's really simple yeah oh yeah, yeah i mentioned it's extremely simple so yes that's all for this video um make sure to glitch out the like button and don't and oops i always just said don't remember are you sure you want to leave this page um, and then, see, D Dakota did one of the Speedville Hospital that I made, which is really bad, because I'm, I'm new by now. Um, so yeah, make sure to glitch out that like button, and subscribe for happiness, Pixlite. Bye! Remember, links in the, be in the description for the, 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 the websites. <laughs>